everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading i hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day so for today's pick a card reading we have an interesting topic and if this reading is finding you and if you felt drawn to click on this video then that means that you guys just shifted to a new reality and you are an energy a frequency match to this reading and what the universe wants to tell you today so we'll be looking into what kind of reality that you just shift in and this is happening again in the moment when you find this video so we have three piles to choose from we have pile number one with peacock and vibrancy pile number two with ladybug and good luck and pile number three with bee and community Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description box and I'll see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys feel drawn to this pile then this is going to be a reading for today about what is the reality that you just shifted in in this moment when this video showed up for you. So pile number one for your card today you guys felt drawn to the peacock card with vibrancy. And on your card, it says you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Wow, such a beautiful message. I really like this. Okay, and you also have the, uh, the blue crystal for today. And I'm sorry if you can hear some kind of noise in the background, but it's raining really heavily right now. So... I hope it's not so distracting and maybe it's a bit relaxing um but pile number one okay so what reality did you just shift in i feel like because you felt drawn to the peacock card you just shifted in a reality of like where you're just more confident in yourself I i'm getting that energetically i feel like this pile there was something about your confidence that changed that shifted um and because of this it feels like the universe is you know, you, you match this energy, you match the, the energy of this message to, you know, be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So recognize what is special about you and I feel express it. Okay, so it's interesting here. Let's see your tarot cards to see about the reality that you guys just shifted in. So let's see universe, can you please let us know what reality did pile number one just shift in? What is the message for pawn number one today? And what reality did pawn number one just shift in the universe? For pawn number one, what reality did they just shift it in? Okay, we'll get one more card. Wow, look at the judgment coming up. Wow, oh my God, you guys just shifted into your life purpose. Oh, I'm seeing this. Oh, with the judgment, I'm also hearing you just shifted in your true form, in your authenticity. It makes a lot of sense with the peacock energy. I like this. Let's see all of your cards. But the first message that I'm getting is you shifted on a path where you're like pursuing your life purpose. Or you shifted in a path that is authentic to you, that is your path to walk, your path to follow. Like, I feel like you guys just aligned yourself to, like, your destiny almost, you know? I'm getting, like, that kind of energy. You also have the Justice card. Wow, this is interesting. Okay. You have the Hierophant. Wow, look at, you're getting so many major arcana. So this is a, a really big shift for you, pile number one. This is a really big shift that just happened for you. It's major. Because when the major arcana shows up, it's it's showing it's it's a major energy. It's almost like you guys quantum leaped or something like that. Like it feels like the shift that just happened for you is on a really high level. Wow, the tower, another major arcana. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my god, look at this. All major arcanas. I'm telling you, this is a major shift for you, pile number one, that just happened for you. And this is going to change your life. I want to say that you, through you making this shift energetically, you just changed your life. That's what I want to tell you. Um, and I'm already getting so many messages here, so let me just gather my thoughts a little bit where do I start for you because I feel you are experiencing a huge shift in your life right now this is really major 
So I guess let's start from the beginning, right? With the judgment here, I do feel that the shift just happened for you, shifted you towards your life purpose, towards your destiny, towards your calling, okay? So I see that you guys have awakened to your life purpose. You have awakened and realized why you're here on this earth, what is your mission on this earth, what you're meant to do. And it's like, you're, um, you're not um, also like, ignoring it anymore or you're not putting it to the side or procrastinating it so with the justice i see that there is going to be so much fairness in your life that's coming in next if you felt before like you were missing out on things uh like there wasn't fairness there wasn't justice like things were unfair in general you felt mistreated by life i do see that you just shifted in a reality where life becomes really fair for you because again, our life is just a mirror, it's just a reflection of our thoughts. And if you believe that the world is a fair place, if you believe that the world is a kind place and that there is justice for you, then that's what life will reflect back to you. So I see something about your thoughts has changed where you start to think and feel like the world is actually a fair place. Like, you know, things are working in your favor and um, you're not getting, you know, like uh, deceived or mistreated. So I do see that you also shifted in a reality where life is fair for you. Next thing, with the Hierophant, I feel like there was a really big change or increase in faith with this pile. You maybe recently really felt connected to God, to whatever your maybe religious belief is. If you are not religious, maybe your spiritual belief. But I see like this pile, there was something about you and your faith that just became so like concrete or it became so much stronger than before and maybe perhaps this is also the reason and what's triggered you guys to shift into this reality i see there is something about your um religion or your faith again spiritual or religious it doesn't matter whatever you believe in whatever your belief is it becomes so much it became so much stronger and you became so much more faithful to it that now is when things start to happen and when things start to shift for you because of this i feel like this is really what triggered you to to step into this major shift and i see with the tower here i'm getting this is like your old life is going away the old reality that you were living in which felt very unstable which felt very you know not what you wanted with the tower it it was just standing on like its last strings you know i i also feel like why this is such a major shift for you polymer one is because you just let go of the last bit of like i want to say like resistance or old life or that old reality it's like before it, you were so close to making the shift and you finally did it and you the old version of you like that old reality that you were unhappy with is completely falling apart and with the wheel of fortune we're seeing that the wheel is now going to start to turn into your favor i feel in this reality you guys will feel like you're getting really lucky in this reality you you know you shifted in a reality where you feel like you're getting lucky you feel like you're getting these opportunities you feel like things are working in your favor like life is starting to be fair like think people are treating you better again better opportunities are showing up life is easier in general things resolve themselves easier um i feel like that is the kind of reality that you just shifted in where just everything just becomes so much easy and everything just happens in a more natural way where prior i feel you guys had difficulties and you maybe felt like mistreated that is the best way i can put it like you felt like injustice like you felt maybe you know you're working really hard but nobody is recognizing it or you're doing your best, but nothing is really happening, you know, and you're seeing maybe these people who don't seem like, who don't seem like they're trying as hard as you, but they're getting everything that you want. Like that's kind of, I feel, what was your past reality? So that you know, like this is your pile in your reading. But I feel that now you're stepping in a reality where all of that is falling apart and you're, you're stepping in a reality where you're, you feel lucky. You know, you feel 
grateful for life and blessed for life so that is really interesting i feel that is very clear and i just want you to know that this is a really major turning point for your life as well because with the wheel of fortune it's indicating that your life is going to change 180 in this moment and you you've just shifted in such a major way because all of these are major arcana spawn number one i can't stress this enough you know so this is a major shift that's happening in your life that will change your life completely i do feel like moving forward from when you watch this reading your life will really be different from before okay let's get some oracle cards to get some more additional messages for you okay palm number one. Oh, look at this abundance i love this yeah you just shifted towards abundance this is what's coming in your new reality palm number one abundance wealth opportunities Wow, I mean, I really don't know what else to say, but like your life is changing for the better, really. I feel like your life is changing. You just stepped into such a powerful energy. And again, I feel like your, your faith is really what triggered this. So just know that there is more abundance coming in your life. And abundance, it's as a whole energy. It, it's not just in the meaning of like, money is coming your way or wealth abundance as a whole abundance in all areas of your life in health in opportunities in wealth in your home in your relationships everything is going to start to feel so much more abundant your life is going to start to feel so much more abundant palm number one is what i'm seeing for you wow this is so powerful and i mean you also feel drawn to the vibrancy right so i do feel like this is just it's your vibrancy right now. This is your frequency in this moment. You have the frequency to attract this kind of life, which you've already attracted, by the way. That's why this reading is showing up for you. You have you and your loved ones are safe. So again, we're, we're seeing that you're going to start to feel more protected in this new life. You will feel like you're protected. Like... Um, there is, you know, a, a source that's watching over you, that's protecting you, that's taking care of you. And that in every single opportunity and next step forward that you want to take, you will be protected, you will be taken care of, and things will work out. Don't let your past hold you back. So yeah, I, I was saying this with the tower, how your old life is falling apart. And I do feel like this pile, also the reason what triggered you to make this shift besides your faith is you deciding to let go of your past and let go of you know because i i feel like and this is something that i kind of recently also also started to understand is that the past doesn't exist anymore it, it's not there you know and if you don't like something about your past you just need to understand that it doesn't exist anymore what exists is now and then the potential future that's all and i feel like this really helped me understand life in a better way so maybe it will help you as well but you really just have to understand it and that's it that's it you just have to process this and understand that the past doesn't exist anymore it happened and it, it's not real anymore it's it's you know doesn't exist what there is is now and the future the potential future right so it's i feel like this helps to not let past experiences affect the way that you live your life forward you know so i i feel like because if you if you experience something negative in the past it can really easily affect you to repeat the same kind of thing in your future but if you stop resonating with it which if you stop seeing the past as something that exists I feel like it will help you to recreate those situations in a more positive way in the future. So don't let your past hold you back. Or if something negative, if you experience something negative in the past, such as like living while you feel like the world is unfair, you can stop resonating that with that right now in this moment because it's not real anymore, right? The past doesn't exist anymore. So I really feel like this pile has grown a lot spiritually. And that's also why your faith has strengthened. Let's see what else, pile number one. What reality that you just shift in? Universe, do you have any additional messages for this pile? 
Okay, let's take a look. We just put the cards like this, okay. So you have spirit messages, yeah. Observe, observe limitations. Okay, spirit messages, observe limitations. So I feel like, you know, I asked the universe is there, if there is a message that you need to hear right now. And I feel like the universe wants to let you know to start really observing your thoughts every day at every moment. Observe what you're thinking. Observe how you're thinking and where you are limiting yourself. Because when you notice the mistake, it's so easy to fix. That is the easiest part, the easiest part sorry, to fix the mistake. But I feel like what's more difficult is maybe to become aware of the mistakes or become aware of the blockages that you are subconsciously creating for yourself, the limiting beliefs. So observing is really important because you catch yourself when you are maybe thinking in a limited way, in a way where it blocks blessings coming into your life. And once you observe that, you just need to change the thought in the moment. You just need to switch the thought in the moment and be like, no, that's not, I don't resonate with that. It's not happening for me, right? So I feel like the universe wants to advise you in order to further like step into this energy and make it more concrete for yourself, okay? Because you just shift it, but it's going to be important for you to also stay in this energy. And the more you stay in this energy, the more it becomes your life, the more it becomes, it's not going to feel like, oh, I just shifted. It's just going to feel like life for you. Like this is your normal day-to-day -day life. But to be here and to stay here, I feel like the universe wants to advise you to observe your thoughts. And when you find yourself thinking limiting thoughts, correct yourself in that exact moment. Okay, that's what I'm feeling for this pile. And let's get your last message, pile number one, to see your last message coming from the universe for your reading today. What is the message you want to tell to pile number one? I feel like this one is wanting to come out for you. Ooh, look at this you have direction on the bottom of the deck plan where you want to be i, I do feel you know I, I was mentioning about your purpose and when i see the book open like this it's always reminding me that you guys are in the direction of like your your purpose your destiny so i definitely feel like that's confirming here uh and you have love life free from problems and money troubles enjoy the passion of love love and be loved interesting free from money from problems and money so wow wow yeah i feel like this is a perfect way to conclude your reading because i was saying how in your past reality some of you felt mistreatment and maybe you were dealing with problems right and maybe with money troubles you also have abundance here so it's assuring that abundance is coming in your life but I feel like the reality that you just shifted and to conclude your reading is, you know, you, you moved yourself away from problems and from money troubles, from maybe having uh, a lacking mindset as well. And now the universe is saying, enjoy the passion of love, love and be loved. So it's indicating that you just shifted in a reality where life is going to, it's going to feel like life loves you and like you love life. And you have a good a good connection and relationship and perception towards life and the world and the universe and the people around you as well. So I, I want to say, Paul number one, that you definitely just experienced a major shift in your life. And try to, to, you know, to observe your thoughts so that you make this shift concrete, so that you solidify it. And again, the more you stay in this energy, the more you persist in this energy, it will just become your natural habit. It will become your natural life. Um, so I feel like that's what I have for your reading today, Polymer One. I feel, you know, this was really powerful. So I hope that it resonated with you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Polymer Two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about what is the reality that you guys just shifted in at this moment when this reading finds you. So palm number two, for your card today, you guys felt drawn to the ladybug with good luck. And on your card, it says you are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Wow, such a beautiful message. I really like this deck. 
um i feel like the messages are always so so nice you know um and you also feel drawn to the red stone okay poem number two so let's begin with your tarot cards here and let's see what is the reality that you guys just shifted in right away i don't know i'm getting like queen of wands energy from this pile because you have here you are a bright energy i do feel like you shifted towards uh really being authentic i don't know that is the major energy that i'm picking up from this pile you shifted towards being really authentic shining your light shining your true colors and like really expressing them without like any fear without any like oh what are other people gonna think um that kind of energy okay the temperance is coming out for you let's see what reality that you just shift into pile number two maybe you're a sagittarius i'm feeling that from the temperance let's see universe what reality did palm number two just shift into what is the kind of reality shift palm number two just experienced can you please give us messages for this pile okay you already have five so let's see okay you had the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck i wasn't sure if i should mention it but i'm kind of start, as i put it down i start to to get some message of messages of like you're moving away from winter energy i feel like this pile is moving away from feeling insecure about themselves uh or i guess that's the, the the reality that you just shifted in is like in this new reality you don't feel insecure about yourself you don't feel like you're missing something you don't feel like there is something that's wrong with you or like um i, I don't know i'm kind of or like you're lacking something like you know um i feel like in the past reality you maybe always felt like you found flaws in you or what you were doing or about your life like you constantly felt like oh i don't have this i don't have that and this about me is wrong but i feel like in this new reality that you just shifted in you're suddenly feeling so much like love for yourself first first of all and like so much care for yourself i don't know that's energetically what i'm picking up at first wow you have the emperor temperance and the emperor Ooh, I like you just stepped into this boss energy pile number two. Look at you. I really feel like you just stepped into like this boss. I am the one. I'm the leader energy. This is who I am. I'm going to rule the world. I'm like getting this energy from this pile. Wow, the judgment. Oh my god. Again, so many major arcanas coming up. Pile number one had all major arcanas, and so far, you too. You have also the two of cups. We're seeing alignment as well in your cards, which is nice. Ooh, and the Ten of Swords, okay. Yeah, the Ten of Swords represents an ending, you know, an ending that, an ending of a period of lessons. That's, to me, that's the Ten of Swords. It's like the worst part of your life is over. Congratulations. I feel like that's what the universe wants to say to you guys. The worst part and the hardest part of your life, the most painful one, it's, it's coming to an end. Um, and you just shifted in a reality where you, you know, I want to say that this period of learning, although it was really painful for you, it was necessary for you to go through it so that you become the person that you are today, which is the emperor. I feel like you just shifted in a reality where you are the emperor, you are the leader, you are on your throne, you're shining, you know, you're, you're living in authenticity, you're living in power, you're living in confidence and strength. And I see that this has been a process. It, it's like it took maybe some months or some years for you to get here. Because I see with the temperance, this is giving me energy. Like in your past reality, you guys were like trying out different things. It's like you were testing this, you were trying this, you were trying that. Uh, trying to find yourself, trying to figure out who you are as a person, what gets you excited, what looks good on you, what makes you feel good about yourself. And this was a period of lessons, okay? I see in the past, you it, it wasn't that easy, you know? The Ten of Swords is quite a heavy energy indicating that we've been through major lessons in our life. But, you know, those lessons are the ones who make you become stronger. And you're able to endure more you're able to have more stamina with life afterwards you're able to 
deal with uh, with things much easier in life you find life easier after the ten of swords because the more difficult things you experience the heart the easier life becomes because you have more experience you you're you're more i guess equated to solving problems or dealing with life and knowing how to go through it life how to react in certain situations so although it was a difficult process you can expect now life to feel much easier because you've been through the hardest things right so again when you experience something difficult then just other things become suddenly much easier and you know just a simple example i can give you is maybe like i don't know if you go to the gym and you start to live you lift much much heavier weights than you used to then your past weights become so much easier right so it's like that kind of energy that i'm seeing for this pile but also i feel like you guys really aligned yourself in this moment you know uh with the judgment this is again it's the card of your life purpose i see that you guys have awakened to who you really are and to your authentic self with the two of cups you have successfully reached a connection i feel with the highest version of yourself and with your life purpose it's like now you are in alignment with your life purpose and i feel that this pile is also on the track to potentially meet either the love of their life or maybe it could also be a business partner but honestly what i'm feeling from this pile it, it has to do with like more of like a relationship like love okay marriage it's like you're you just shifted in a reality where on your path forward you are aligned to meet your soulmate you are aligned to meet the love of your life um the person who you will i feel end up marrying yeah i definitely feel like this is more about love so if some of you maybe the ten of swords had to do uh with coming from a lot of relationships that didn't work out for you and you just shifted towards you know a person who you feel confident about yourself and you feel love for yourself you have respect for yourself you're just naturally going to attract somebody who's on that energy as well but i see for this pile for this pile it's like in this new reality you guys are yourself you're your authentic self you're shining brightly you don't seek validation you don't seek attention um attention in the way of like look at me look at what i'm doing you know it's like attention is naturally going to come to you because it comes when you're not looking for it it comes when you're not asking for it uh, you're, you're not just like stay you know staying in like the center and just waving to people like hey look at me right it's like you're just gonna walk by and you're just getting the attention you know that's how it works so definitely have aligned yourself on a on a path that is your purpose and on this journey you guys will also meet the love of your life is mainly what i'm seeing Okay, let's get your oracle cards to further clarify your messages here, pile number two. What reality did you just shift into? Ooh, shadow work. Wow, it makes sense with the ten of war a ten of swords. Uh, I was gonna say the ten of worms. That's really weird. Okay. So I see that you guys in the past you were doing a lot of shadow work. Okay. That is important. Take a risk. Ooh take a risk and you have this kind of looks like the wheel to me it's like i feel like the universe wants to let you know moving forward do what scares you in a way you know like do what makes you feel uncomfortable just do it i'm getting this message for this pal i feel like you really need to hear in this new reality just do it just go for it don't back down now don't back down because if you back down you're gonna revert back to your old self i see that you have an opportunity right now to pursue your life purpose and this might feel like a risk to some of you or it might just feel uncomfortable with the take a risk this can be like again just do it just do what scares you in the moment whatever that is applying to this job posting that video or applying to the school moving to this country you know, I feel like this pal wants to create a major change in their life or can do something right now potentially that will change their life forever in a much greater way, but it will feel uncomfortable. I feel like that's something the universe wants to let you know. It's not going to feel, um, you, you know, in the beginning, it might feel a bit uncomfortable or it might scare you, but the more you do it, the 
easier it will become. I feel like right now you also have what it takes to endure this as well and that is why you had to go through these painful lessons so that you can become the person who can endure maybe the difficulties that come with this risk but i feel for you they're not gonna feel like difficulties uh, but you know every decision has its consequences a certain responsibilities and in order to execute it right you have to become a certain person who can handle what comes with that decision. So if you wanna move somewhere across the world, you know, it might be difficult, it might be lonely, it might require a lot of adaptation, right? There's the whole process of finding a home, of traveling, moving, figuring things out. And you need to become a person with strength who can endure that, right? So that just goes with whatever risk you wanna take in this moment, whatever jump you wanna make. You can do it. That's something that the universe wants to tell you. It's like now you are a person who can endure whatever the consequences are with this kind of transition that you guys want to make. And you know how to handle it properly as well. Let's see what else. Pile number two. What is the reality that this pile just shifted towards? Prosperity lies ahead. Oh, you know, take a risk because prosperity lies ahead and you are good enough. And I was just saying, I feel like I'm going to take this card because um, it resonates a lot. And look, they're both green. I feel like this is what I was saying in the beginning where this pile shifted in a reality where you feel like you're good enough to have what you want. And it's like now you have perhaps the courage to also do it. Now perhaps you have the courage to, I don't know, show yourself to the world to again make that move or take that step forward and I feel like the universe wants to let you know to take the risk because you're good enough to succeed in it as well that's something that you need to hear like take the risk because you're good enough to to be successful in this I feel like that's what I'm getting from these two cards if you take the risk you will see prosperity you will see success you will see abundance come through your life because you're good enough and you're deserving of this. And I feel like you need a reminder that there's nothing wrong with you. Um, although you just shifted in a reality where you know that there's nothing wrong with you. But that's why I also feel like this pile, in the past you were struggling with feeling good about yourself and just acknowledging that you are good enough for something. But now, since you've stepped into this leader energy with the emperor here, you've become very powerful. I love this pile number two. Let's see what else. Is there maybe any advice that the universe wants to give you here? You guys have divine will. Let go of fear. Wow. Oh my God. This is all so aligned. Like take a risk. Let go of fear. Like I really do feel like the universe wants to reassure you that the path that you want to take a risk towards, it's going to work out. So don't fear it. There will be prosperity from this path. There will be prosperity from the risk that you want to take. So don't fear it. You're good enough and you, you're you capable to be successful in this. I cannot stress enough this message. It's, it's really apparent here in your reading. All right. I want to end your reading with one last card, poem number two. So let's see what is the last message that the universe has for you here. What is your last message coming from the universe for pile number two? All right, this one is coming out. Ooh, you have public face. <sighs> Follow your heart, become who you want to be, earn a reputation, it's okay to be yourself. Yeah, this is like also giving major queen of, um, queen of wands energy. You know, if you guys wanna be famous, I am seeing that energy in your cards. Like if you want to be a public face, if you want to be a famous, I am seeing it. And you know why? Because I feel like being a public face has to do a lot with your self-image and you feeling good about yourself. Because, you know, if you don't like yourself, then how are you going to attract that from other people, right? So I do feel if you want to be famous, this is just for a specific, mes specific message for some of you you just shift it in a reality where you've created the potential for that. So take the risk because I feel it's leading you to also fame. And you have independence. Um, manage money yourself. Independence guarantees security. Don't depend on others. Ooh, 
Oh, and lo I love this image. It does kind of give me like celebrity energy, maybe. Okay. Don't depend on others. I feel like this is what I was saying, you know, with the public face of like, don't wait for others to give you validation. Don't wait for others to give you attention or give you feel, make you feel like you're worthy or like you're pretty, like you're beautiful. Uh, I do feel like that is what you just shifted in though, like feeling good about yourself and feeling worthy without other people. And the moment you do that is the moment where you actually gain attention from other people and recognition from other people. So I feel like pawn number two, you, if you want to attract fame in your life, you're on the right track to do that. But it will require like you doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable, whether that is like, I don't know, posting your first video or publishing that first thing or you know, showing the world who you really are, coming out of your shell, whatever this has to do with you, just like do that, do that thing that scares you in this moment because I feel like it will lead to so much prosperity and success for you, Paul number two. But that's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Paul number three. If you guys feel drawn to this pile, then this is going to be a reading for today about the reality that you guys just shifted in in this moment when this reading finds you. So pile number three, for your card today, you guys have the B card with community. And on your card, it says you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Wow, such a beautiful energy and you guys also have the yellow heart stone for today all right pile number three so let's just get into your cards right away and let's take a look at what reality that you just shift into and what is the reason as to why you felt you know attracted to this reading and this message so for pile number three universe what reality did pile number three just shift into what is the energy for this pile? And what is the reality that pile number three just shifted in? Oh, oh my God. I just heard you're going to excel in your work. Okay, let me see. What reality did pile number three just make a shift into? Let's write this one. Oh, you have a, the fool on the bottom of the deck. So I see a new beginning starting here. Maybe when it comes to work, maybe there's a new beginning in work. I'm seeing the emperor here. So... The Emperor is, to me is the energy of a boss, of a leader, okay? Somebody who is in charge. I do feel like there is going to be significant improvement in your career life. There might be a promotion, there might be a better job coming in, you might start to see things taking off in your career. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it makes sense because you also fall drawn to the B, which is, you know, uh, I, I want to say the queen of hard work, right? Um, and with the fool on the bottom of the deck, there's like, I'm feeling energies of something new starting in your career, but it's going to feel like an improvement. Let's see all of your cards first. Wow, yeah, King of Pentacles. Oh, I was spot on with what I was picking up. Um, so King of Pentacles, again, we're seeing something about your work really improving. I'm seeing this mainly has to do with your position though. Like it, it does feel like it might be as like a promotion for a lot of you or just like a job that feels really advanced or something in your career happening that it's going to feel like it's advancing you in a really big way let's see Ooh, four of pentacles wow okay seven of cups and a five of pentacles okay i feel like this pile is manifesting also abundance in the in their life as well let's see <clears throat> what reality did you just shift into? Ooh, okay, I like this. I like this pile number three. So I feel like, again, the, the first thing that I'm seeing for this pile is I feel like your pile, you're mainly focused right now around your finances and your career. Um, and maybe this is something that you, that is like your focus point in this moment in your life. And I feel like the reality that you just shifted into you will see great advancements when it comes to your career and a lot more financial stability. Because I feel like in the past, this pile maybe had some fear around um, money 
or finances maybe because you know five of pentacles four of pentacles this is like energy of like you constantly maybe had to feel like you were saving or you constantly felt like you couldn't spend on things that you want maybe you felt lack of abundance in your life in your past like i feel like that was the energy in your past but now you just shifted when this reading finds you you just shifted in a reality where moving forward on your path you will see great improvements in your career and great improvements in your finances along the way right those two things kind of tag along so i feel like your career is about to start doing really well this is a major point for your career pile number three I feel like you will start to see also a lot of results of the hard work that you have been doing. No wonder you have the B card here to represent your pile and you feel drawn to this pile because I do, you know, we have here be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance and your work blesses everything you touch. So there is this energy of like moving forward with your career. It's going to feel like everything you touch turns into gold. You know, everything you touch just turns into abundance everywhere you walk it just feels blessed it feels abundant so you really shifted in a reality where you're doing really well with your career and i feel like you no longer have fear around money you do, you no longer feel like you're lacking money like you're you know you're seeking it every single day it's just gonna, it's gonna be your life now abundance wealth and seven of cups i feel like this pile you shifted your attention towards bigger things as well because i see with the seven of pentacles like there's there's big dreams that you want to welcome in your life and i i feel like this pal is like a big dreamer you have this energy like you have big dreams you want to achieve big goals uh big accomplishments especially career and money wise like maybe you you want to be a millionaire right maybe you want um to buy a huge home or something like that. But that is the kind of, <clears throat> I feel like, visions you have for your future. And in the past, you were in the mindset of lack, but now you shifted. And now I see you will make really great progress in this area of your life. So let's get your Oracle cards to see what other messages you need to hear. Palm number three. Also know that this money that's coming in your life is going to stack up because I, I also feel like for uh, of the four of pentacles like i oftentimes notice it comes up when it's indicating that their your savings will be growing basically to me it oftentimes shows up as like that like your savings will grow okay you have accept help so you know maybe also there's a reminder with the b of also let others help you you also have community so I feel like maybe there will be also help showing up for this pile and moving forward on your journey. There might be people who will assist you, people who will help you, and you won't have to feel like you're doing everything alone. Take a risk. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense with the Emperor. I feel like right now, if there's something that you want to do regarding your career that maybe feels like a risk or it feels uncomfortable, this is the decision that's going to take you out of poverty is what I'm hearing, Paul number three, or feeling poverty -ish, having that mindset. Uh, maybe some of you don't even have a job. Okay, the five of pentacles can represent that. Maybe you don't even have a job in this moment, uh, but you shifted in a reality where you have one. Okay, so you will see this happen in your life very soon after this reading. Um, but if, or if you, like, there's something that you want to do in this moment, take the risk because I feel it's going to really lead to a lot of prosperity and career advancement for some of you. So there is this message from the universe of do what scares you, do what makes you feel uncomfortable or, you know, like, I guess unsafe. It maybe makes you feel unsafe, but it's just because it's uncomfortable. Let's see what else, poll number three. Any other messages from the universe? You guys have, what do you need to release? Ooh, okay. And take time to breathe out. I feel like you really went through like a stressful, I feel like this Paul has been through like a stressful situation in the past, maybe financially or related to your job. And I feel like there is still uh, with what do you need to release the universe is asking you this question because i feel there is still a little bit like this lingering feeling in you where it like wants to re revert back to like but i don't have it or like i'm lacking you know 
I feel there is still that bit of like insecurity left in you and I feel like if you want to seriously commit and concrete the shift that you just stepped into, release that last bit of like lingering feeling, like just say no to it, just cut it out of your life because, and, and take time to breathe it out, like, you know, like just sit with yourself and breathe it out and no longer resonate with it because know that you just shifted in a new reality where your work is doing amazing, your career is doing amazing, your finances are thriving, and every single risk that you take pays out even more than before. So just release that last bit of like insecurity that is in you because I feel like that is exactly what's going to set you up in the future and also like commit you to this shift even more. Let's see what else. And if you're asking yourself, what do you need to release? I feel like you either need to release fear around money, fear of not succeeding, or fear of just things not working out, fear of failure. You need to, you need to release those thoughts um, and take time to breathe out, right? Take your time to really release them and just not resonate with them anymore because you will need the mindset of a winner moving forward and you cannot doubt yourself in the future. Like, we take a risk. It's showing me that you guys want to take or make big moves with your career. And again, this is what's going to take you out towards success. But in order for you to take this risk and accomplish it in a successful way, you cannot think of failure. You cannot think of it's not going to work whatever happens happens you cannot have that kind of mindset you need to really believe that it's going to work and it's it's the right thing for you so just release fear of not succeeding let's see your other message is there any advice that the universe wants to give you palm number two you guys have spiritual evolution set your heart free yeah so set your heart free of like fear you know, insecurities. I feel like that's what has been blocking your abundance coming your way, palm number three. If in the past you questioned what was blocking your abundance, what was blocking your success, especially in the career, I feel like this pile just had fears. You you, you had fear, you had like, it, feeling maybe insecure about yourself, limiting beliefs towards finances, towards money. Maybe you come from a background that is not wealthy and that's why those thoughts were instilled in you but the good thing is that you can always change you know i feel like it's you have to realize that about life you can always change but it's you that needs to change it's not life it's you because life comes out of you life is a mirror of you life is a mirror of your thoughts and there is nothing to change but you which takes a lot of courage i feel to realize you know but once you identify the problem you just need to fix it that's all and i feel like again like this pile maybe just recently realized like i need to change my thoughts i need to change my perception if i want these big things if i want to welcome these big dreams in my life i need to change my way of thinking because fear does not attract blessings it does not attract abundance it's just gonna attract more fear so you need to release fear i feel like you need to set your heart free from fear and that it, like you making this one last judgment one last adjustment is really going to like set you up i feel especially career wise if you guys want to attract big goals in your career you need to let go of the fear of not achieving them you need to let go of that fear let's get your last card pile number three two and your reading here any additional message for this pile universe for polymer three what messages do you want to tell them so let's see your card. You guys have wisdom. Okay. Insight into the nature of physical objects gives you foresight. Use your best judgment. All right. So I feel like the advice that the universe wants to give you is that moving forward, you really have to make it clear with yourself, you know, that you have the judgment, you're wise, and with you know with taking a risk you also need to have great judgment right you have great judgment great insight great wisdom and i feel like the universe is assuring you that you have it and you can trust yourself to make the right decision you can trust and not fear every second and change your mind when you make a decision you can make a decision trust it 
you know, go with it and use your judgment, use your wisdom along the way to navigate you towards the success. I really feel like you just shifted in a reality pile number three, where you have great potential to make really big changes in your career, advance financially, adv advance career-wise. But like you need to just make that last bit of a judgment of releasing any access fear that there is in you. And after this, you're going to feel so free. You're going to feel like you can accomplish anything. You can do anything. It's just you need a little bit of more to solidify the shift. And I feel like make it a, make it whole. Because right now, I'm kind of feeling like this has shifted. But it's like maybe 80% or it's like 70%. And if you just release this little bit of fear that's, that's still lingering in you, you will shift 100%. You will see everything happen so quickly. You will see everything happen overnight. All right, poll number three, I feel like that's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.